What I'm doing is gonna be honest game time here and today we are playing Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Okay, so I'm gonna read this quickly, so bear with me. Game industry in a world which exists outside of our reality, where four CPUs protect the rule of our each nation. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules Planetary. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules Planetary. That is Neptune. The nation where the CPU Black Heart, Black Heart rules, rules Last Station. Station. That is Blake. Oh, hold on. On the wall. I think it's the wall. The nation the where the CPU Black Heart, Black Heart, Heart rules Louis. Louis. The nation the where, where CPU, CPU Green Heart, Heart rules, rules. Lean Bulldogs. In the past, Game industry had been exposed to threats such as the deity of sin and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. But thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. Mm. Taking a Taking nap, nap in the warmth of the, of the planet Toon Sun, Sun is, is the, the best. best. Neptune! She's so cute. Although, I, I kind of feel like I just had a super creepy dream. dream. Ah! What was that noise? Yes. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that sounded like something plastic slamming against the concrete. Hmm, I think it came from over there. Maybe I should go take a look. find our heroine in a spooky back alley, shrouded in darkness in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. Someone, save me! Oh, who's that? Huh? Is that a voice? Someone, anyone, anyone save, save me! Save, save the zero, zero dimension. dimension! Hello? Someone there? Hello. Come on! Hello. That's, That's so weird. weird. I could have That's sworn I heard it coming from around here. here. Hmm? Wait. What's this on the ground? Down. It no, almost it looks like a, a game, game console? console? But who even makes game. this? It's got a white, white body, a swirl mark. mark. Even a sophisticated it's game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. Well... I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take a, I mean, deposit this at the Basilicon for safekeeping. Yeah. Hey, Nepgear, look and look. I found a super cool vintage game console. Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later. Also, welcome home, Neptune. I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. Nepgear is my favorite. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Neptune, where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. I will not forgive you today. It's Isti! This small fairy looking girl is Istoire. Or Isti, as I like to call her, Planetune's first CPU created her in order to keep a record of the nation's history, and right now, she acts as Planetune's oracle. She's cute till she opens her mouth and turns into a little dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because. Full, full break. Neptune, listen to me. We're in the midst of game industry's shift period, and this is simply not the time for brash behavior. Ah, uh, come on, is do you like no, it's just a little old shift period. Wait, what is that again? Even though I had explained it so thoroughly, I will explain it once again. So please, listen. The CPU shift period is the season when citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow instead of placing their faith in those already presiding. We're currently in the window of time when rumors about the CPUs will begin circulating, tarnishing their reputations. 
In fact, at this very moment, the other CPUs have been working relentlessly to prepare specialized teams to counter any allegations. I'm totally fine. This is Platitude we're talking about, Isti. My people love me. Besides, isn't Noir the only one who's made an actual team? Vert has that MMO tourney, and Vlad has Rookie Novelist Awards coming up soon. Oh, yeah. No, I would try. Dear me, why is it that all the CPUs lack a mature and appropriate sense of data? Hey, don't just lump me in with those lazy idiots, Eastwar. Oh, by the way, this girl is Noir, the CPU of Last Station, the nation next door. She's a friendless, lonely soul. Aren't you, Noir? You shut up! I'm not lonely! <laughs> oh my god, that face so <laughs> It's just the way the cookie crumbles. crumbles. Anyway, Nip Jr., think you can fix this console? It looks like it's pretty broken. I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like technology I'm familiar with. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Sis? Oh, by the way, guys, Nip Gear, the reason why she is called Nip Gear is because she is a gearhead. <sighs> it cannot be helped. It appears I will be constructing a solution on my own for planetary safety. Yet, yet again. again. <laughs> Sarcasm. Anyone, oh, please. please. Save, save us. us. Huh? huh? N Neptune, Neptune, did, did you, hear, you that? hear that? Oh, I knew oh, I heard yeah, something yeah. earlier. Good work, work Neptune. Yeah. Where's it coming from? This is gonna sound weird, but I think the voice came from inside this console. Click. Oh! Oh! Right above my head! What is this? Why are we getting swallowed up in our... And off they go. Through the portal. Oh no! Portal. What should we do? I can't... Okay. We're getting sucked okay. in! Ah! I, I had to cut that due to... Neptune. Neptune. Right, so quickly, I had to cut that. I just had to skip that intro due to the fact that I might get copyrighted. Neptune, please okay, wake right up. up. Neptune, please. Oh, come on, Neptune. Give me ten more minutes. This isn't the time to be sleeping. Look, look around. Ugh. You're so noisy. Wait, did Isti find out we're slacking off to fix that console? Has she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon? Huh? Look around. Oh, right, right, right. This is just a dream. Okay, well then, night nap gear, turn the lights off on your way out, okay? Oh, it's not a dream, Neptune! Get up! No, 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 this can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? What? I don't know. Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Uh, uh Neptune, even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Hey, <laughs> there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. That's the spirit. Let's go. I just love the fact that Neptune, no, Neptune has no sense of freaking danger whatsoever. I'm full of energy. Okay, yeah, so, as you can tell, I've got a lot of things on there. I know I'm good. No, not party. No 
everyone's around. Hmm, that's pretty weird. You'd think there'd at least be a cat, a hologram, or something. Hey! Anyone here? There's something really eerie about this place, Neptune. Those cracks running through the streets and buildings don't seem like regular cracks. You're right. They're all green and pretty. I feel like if I stared at them long enough, they'd suck me right in. There are similar cracks in the sky, too. It's almost as if the fabric of space and time itself has cracks in it. And these buildings, they feel familiar. Kind of like some of the ones we have back in Planetune. Hmm. Would Planetune look like this if we were to enter an apocalypse? Don't say things like that! But when I look more closely, I don't recognize any of these areas. So I don't think it's Planetune. Doi! Come on, little Nep. That city's my backyard. I'd recognize it if I was walking around it blindfolded. Well, it does us no good to keep brooding here. Forward mark! Where does her confidence come from at times like this, I wonder? My confidence, you ask? It's obviously because I'm the main character. No matter what happens, we'll make it through with my protag rule set. I hope so. <laughs> Um, that was just kind of loud, is all. <laughs> it's just a run-of-the-mill first battle baddie. See, Nep Junior, my protag rule set has found local person number one. No, Neptune. No matter how you look, I don't think we can converse with it. It's full of murderous intent. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> and here I thought we'd finally run into someone else besides us. But if the enemy is raring to go, we've no choice. Nepgear, let's transfer. Right! Behold! Processor unit, set! They have no harm. Uh, huh? But. Mind shot. Nothing. <laughs> hey, that's dangerous! Oh, I see. You don't know it's against the rules to attack during a transformation sequence. I don't think a monster will understand, even if you tell- I don't know why we can't go HDD, but we have to take care of the enemy in front of us first. Let's go for it! Okay! Right. Let's start the tutorial battle! Everyone, use this fight to learn the basics, alright? seen this monster before. Never fear, Nepgear. This is a tutorial battle, so no matter how crazy they look, we'll win. Okay, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, Nep, you all what? Okay, so this is a turn battle. I've been waiting. What? I am the CBU candidate of Planetune, after all! Phew! Easy peasy. But why couldn't we trans- Oh! What's up, Nep Junior? Neptune, it's our shares! I thought something was weird. I can't feel our shares at all. Okay, so basically, shares in this, when they meant shares, is when the people of Planetune are stationed, Lowy and Linbox support their CPUs, they let them transform into a HDD. But eventually, we should. Get yeah, them. right. I trounced a certain noir in a character ranking contest. That popularity is like the source of our shares. So, to be missing. That's ridiculous. What? Why? And for us to be unable to transform in a post-apocalyptic horror world like this, we're going to be sterilized. But please, please calm down, right Neptune. Also, that monster we just fought, have you ever seen that super gross mutant bug thing? Nope. And I kind of wish I never... It was my first time, too. Unfamiliar monsters in an unfamiliar land. Where the goodness are we? Can we actually get out of here a lot? 
I've tried contacting East War, but the end gear keeps dropping out of range, so I can't connect to the phone or the internet. It, it'll be just fine. You worry too much. And let's be real here. Roaming around strange new lands, beating up monsters is way better than working at a boring desk. Neptune, I think you only feel that way because you hate working. Just, the only thing I hate is not having fun. Come on, welcome. let's make the most of this, little sis. Neptune, I don't know if I can have fun, but I'm sure we'll be fine if we're together. There we go. Okay. Teach me, Hesty. I don't need help. And it's starting to get. So what I'm going to do. Okay, so, hold on, guys, I'm just gonna go. 
to the top. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Okay. Wait for me, Neptune. This can't be. What what what? What is this? No way. Just where is this? See the animation's cool. Uh -huh. Look over there! I see somebody! Hmm? Oh wow, you're right! Oh no! She's surrounded by a bunch of scary monsters! There's no way a local could fight against that many! Let's go, Nepgear! Yeah, let's go help her! Oh my god, that's such a boing. 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 Like a kangaroo. Okay, yeah. See you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching.